In early 2022, TSM FTX revamped its roster, sought out and signed some of the brightest talents in North America, and moved them to Austin, all for a strategic 5v5 shooter titled Valorant. Valorant's a 5v5 FPS game. It's a game of skill. You run at people, they shoot back, they might not shoot back. Strategy. If you die, you die. And headshots. The goal is to put your crosshair onto the enemy's head and click mouse one before they do. And it's the hottest game in esports right now. Uh, bad guys, good guys, pew pew. Um, yeah. yeah. Any team in the top eight could beat anyone at any point. Ooh, as I say that. Anyone can beat anybody any day. Pro team is like a coin flip kind of thing. Like whoever feels good that day. Is outnumbered. The shot guards come through. I get the thing of like people saying like you, you have to, to have fun doing it and blah blah blah. blah, blah. I, I have fun when I win. It's it's pretty big because it's like my first I say my first ever big tournament. So it's like it's everything to be honest. If we were to win VCT, it would be basically like the biggest fuck you to everyone that I'll, I'll talk shit all times within the pro players, all the people on Reddit. If we don't make like a final or something, I think we're pretty sad about it. And we want to fulfill that potential that we know what we could do. And that is that we have the potential to make the land. It just feels like it's due, like and I've been working so hard for it. Priorities for me is, I mean, I want to be at a land event. I want to go perform in front of a crowd. Time on team right now to talk to you guys. Who's playing right now? They're trying to take uh, take our spot, take our qualification spot. Like if you fuck this up, you're out for three months. Surrounded by Minya Familia. Watch them run. Do you see so well? We bring in the body bags. There is no retreat. Not when the annihilation is at stake. Don't stress. I'm soon. It's like my millionth one, it feels like. Hi. I'm not used to this at all. Fuck out of here. Maybe Mark. Bow. My name is Daniel Rossi Abdrabo, and I am the flex initiator person on the team. Oh, dude. Are you? Rossi is. <laughs> a troll. Clown. Goofy. Funny. Funny. Is desk slam a word? Good guy. He's a good guy. Selfless. Encouraging. Helpful. And rock. I said rock because Rossi's more like the rock of the team. Rocky the Ross boss. Very relatable. Kind of like a little brother, in a sense. As we saw in the pistol, he loses it out this time. He's got four kills in the Red Bull Clutch. Yes. Hello, my name's Corey. Corey Nigra. I go by Corey inside a game. And I am the entry fragger for the team. So Corey is mechanics, aimbot, talented, mechanically skilled, best aim I've ever seen. Like a rock, like emotionally. I'd say underrated. Intelligent, handsome, smile. He has a pretty nice smile, so I, I'd say that. Goofy. Corey is goofy. Unique. He walks into frack room because like, howdy, every single time, every single morning, every single time. So you can see that you play cats currently. Corey gets two. <laughs> my name is Anthony. In game, my name is Yendi, and I pretty much like uh, a voice in a team. I play. Uh, Flex. GMD, uh, probably bottom fragger, sometimes funny. <laughs> selfless. Very selfless. He's a sweetheart. Humble. French. Charismatic. A leader. I'd say like leader, uh, consistent. Hype. And he's pretty funny too. He's funny too, dude. He works his hard. I'm, I'm gonna make it uh, at some point, but. Hi, my name is uh, Johan. A lot of you know me as Seven. Currently, I play Chamber a lot for TSM Valorant. Johan, or Seven, is like my little brother. Young. Young. He's young, so I can't say a bad, bad thing about him. I need to keep him off that. Potential. Insane. Insane, and... He's mechanically gifted. Talented. Brave, I guess. He's pretty brave. The movie there, by himself at 16. Quiet. Quiet. He's quiet, but he's outgoing. You know what I mean? Happy. I'm um, 16. Do you feel 16? Nope. Fuck it down. Oh my oh god. god! 32. My name is Yasin Taufik. I go by Sabroza in game, and I am the in game leader. My three things for Sabroza he's smart. He's smart. Smart. He's funny. Funny guy? Funny. Definitely funny. Funny and um, supportive. Calm. Leader. In game leader. Impressive. And he's old. <laughs> You fell back asleep. <laughs> After a grueling qualifier, TSM FTX has made it to VCT Stage 2 main event. 
where 12 teams will compete for two spots to represent North America at Masters, the premier international tournament. Hey guys, my name is Preston Juvenile Dornan and I'm the head coach of TSM. Each one of these Masters is precious because they are hard to get into. They are very limited and playing against these international teams is a huge experience. It's the only land. Like in CSGO, you had like so many tournaments, like from different organizers, different lands, different countries and all that. But in this game, it's like the only big thing. So I think that's what makes it special. It kind of says in the names, the Masters, it's the top dogs from the respective region playing against each other and trying to show who's best, so. It's a privilege to play for a Master and um, so the viewership is insane. You're in a new environment, new setup, new everything. You're not comfy sitting, in a, sitting next to mom and mom's feeding you chicken nuggets. You know what I mean? Like, it's not really a tournament that happens very often either. It's like two times a year, I think, three times a year. So they're very special. And it's also because like, it feels like all the attention is like thrown into that because it's the only one. I think that's what makes it naturally special. It's like, you don't have anything else. What's up guys, back here on the uh, TSM Valor YouTube channel. There are six teams in TSM FTX's group and only the top four will advance to playoffs. Their first opponent, a team that didn't lose a single map in the VCT qualifier. I'm really excited uh, to play NRG because I think depending on how this uh, week one goes is going to really show uh, if we're if we're a competent team or not. They hang out on TeamSpeak together, so they, they kind of have the same vibe we have with this team because they're already like friends together, this together, and, and just from watching them play and hearing from like the scrim bucks, we call it like with, with the scores in scrim, I, I've heard they've been doing super good. Energy is definitely a strong team. They're not hot and cold, but they have like a... Um, a good base where it's like they can play consistent, but sometimes they have random like pop-offs where it, it takes them like up to that next level where they can like beat the top teams. They're actually a really good team. I feel like they're definitely like the probably the best team in our group. And from when they picked up Ethan, I think we played them like the first or two days they picked up Ethan. And it was kind of rough for them. Just he literally just joined the lineup. Literally a week later they were like instantly like four or three times better. They are very like a basic style with a little bit of pizzazz, so for us, that's like a good matchup. We like to play versus teams that are like that. Interesting to see what's going to be happening here as we focus on in on our Group A because the first match of the day is going to be between NRG and PSM. So they're going to have to deal with us because we also are like a we're like a basic team, but we have a lot of pizzazz with their play. So that kind of like like collides and it becomes like a kind of like a bloodbath. Oh, it's a fake. Played is. Oh, it's a bit of a bait and switch, though. They are just watching. It's all down to Sabrosa. He manages to take one with him. Oh, GMT gets another. He's running, running through this one, man. Weedle his way out as well. He's moving forward. Oh. Playing inside the smoke, but he gets cleared out. Anyway, Spike is dropped down, but it's the one before. Hazed. 15 bullets left. The double swing is there. He just can't quite connect the shots. TSM. What a recovery of that round. Angle. That angle is impeccable. Oh, and he's patient enough to be able to pick up Rossi. Well, 27 seconds remaining. TSM holding it still. For now, Hayes moving forward. So I'm going for a really aggressive push in my double doors. The patience is there! No! 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 I stick those shits, baby! I stick those! The latter half of their defense rounds. No way. The drone doesn't clear the one side of things. Would it be the swing in time? Yes. It's not enough to work with, but that's swing again. Ethan. Thank you, Ian. Try and play aggressively, get up paranoia. It's amazing work. DMD left alone, and it's all too easy. Seven will have an opportunity. Right. 
away, but he's holding that one ankle, hits the shot. They're being pushed away for the time being. There's the seas. Sent again flying. Ethan wants to lead them in though. So Browser and GMD falling. Maybe finding another one, but but tap, but the spike is not in a good spot. They're trying to retrieve it. They have to. NRG had to go for the spike here. It's still down. And run no away. Main, the tag, and now they're gonna be splitting into it. Cloudburst flash straight through, but Som is already there, ready and waiting. A quick reset, he finds two. Is it enough for Ethan to really do any sort of damage from the back of the side? Here for this retake for NRG inside the pit. Oh, Hayes tries to correct the aim as well. Swing out on the back, NRG find the two players that they needed. A very familiar move here. The horn goes down almost immediately. Rossi just swings round, but it's being covered. Players are there, and now there's a bit of danger. That the map for NRG, they'd love it. <laughs> Ethan, so snappy. It's all up to Sabrosa, and the trade is finally there. I hate losing. I hate losing more than I love winning. Winning is probably the most important thing to me in the world. Like I said, even as a player, uh, winning was, yeah, uh, it's all I care about. It's the most important thing. If you win, like everything else happens, falls into place. The most important. I don't care how it's done. As long as we win, we win. I don't, I couldn't care less about anything else. Like me moving here, like me, like giving it all, like changing teams, like changing roles. Like winning is the only thing I, can, like, that's the only thing I need. And if you don't see it that way, then I don't think you should play. Like, I feel like if you don't think you can win, then just, like, just give up. Just give up and move on. He's got blocking them all up. The paranoia. No way. No way does he get that. He just came through. The only piece of utility we need to take out of control. Oh, what am I watching? What? Right. Kind of funny to look at this. in with part of the class. They can go for it. Yeah, why? So they're going to have to play. And do we want to have full health? Which doesn't mean it's fine. Good ride, Let's go. We get two more. This game is fucking over. Corey, will he play this? Yes, he will. This comes down to a one v one. How can he even win this? Yes, 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 Corey. That's a Corey. That's a Corey. And possibly turns the tide of the match. Ethan, Som. They're trying to sound bait, seeing if they can pull out some utility. Push it through, okay. He has uh -oh. been pushed from multiple different angles. A bit of a reset there. Chikinti gets it. The tag to dart. Finds the one player. That was a war bang. Yes, I'm making them work for an ascent win. Nice. 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 Oh, Corey's disciplined that round. Let's fucking hey, go. Hey, four more, boys. Four more. Fucking yeah. win it. And NRG are just walking this one. It's just silent. <laughs> <laughs> Taking these long pauses. But he gets a half by the contact straight. And Hayes is going to be trying to figure this one out during the ego round. Close horns at the top. Not able to even take it out in time just because of the sheriff. But yeah. Easily enough done. And now, and something else. Look at that, the nightfall. Cuts across into the side. It's actually going to be tagging on a multitude of players. It's up to Rossi, though. He drops down, hiding, weaving around that box. But it's not quite enough still. Seven available. Holding it to the back of the side. The swing. Beautiful stuff, and NRG. You have to try and take it against both of them. The Jiggle Peak, surely not looking enough for another player, but double swing, drops down. Spam through the box. It's a great try. Everything to TSM. Series. It's that much easier for them to try and do something, but Rossi is being pressed so hard, and look, does not anticipate it. They know that Corey has satchered off to that one area with the horn destroyed, though. A bit of counter spam, running straight through. They need to regain control of the no way. actually got it. Sabrosa on one HP, though. He has to stick this, and he's so easily spammed. Only left alive, not enough to try and close it out. NRG take it. 13 10, the end score line. I would say in the moment it's it's just pure like anger, but then after that it always just it's just fr it's fr uh, the it doesn't destroy me. It's not like something that like mostly breaks me down or anything, but it always lingers, right? Because you always start reminiscing about certain things that happened during the match where you could have done better, and it's always gonna stick with you until something else happens, right? I'm, I'm I won't say I'm a, I'm a sore loser, but like 
uh, it definitely hits me whenever I lose more than it hits me when I win. When I win, I'm like, yeah, let's go. Like, I'm excited, obviously, but, like, that kind of feeling just kind of like, goes away after, after like, a day. Um, unless it's probably something really big. Like, I've yet to win something really big, so, like, maybe that's why. But um, when I lose and I'm, like, I'm, like, out, and, like, that, then I hit me for, like, longer. Like, it takes me, like, like, a few days to, like, reset and, like, get my, like, my mental state back to where I was. If we would have played as well as we normally do, I, we win that easily, you know? Um, but I definitely think we were we were all off a little bit individually. Like, literally, like, I moved in here, and, like, I, I have nothing else to do but play the game. And if I don't win, I'll be probably sad for a couple couple weeks, a couple, couple months, maybe. So I'm trying not to get there. I'm trying to stay healthy, and my mental state is uh, important. So I'm trying to, trying to win. Obviously, like, if you uh, put your all in uh, into something and you don't win, then it is literally depressing. So I'm trying to... I want to win because I put the, the, the work in, so. <laughs> Obviously, every match matters. There's only, there's only, you only get five of them. But I think as we saw from Optic last season, they were three and three at one point, and now they're the world champions. You don't need to win every match in the group to be the best team in the world. As, you know, that's, the game is very difficult to win every single match. And uh, just like last time, V1, they were undefeated uh, going into the last week, and then they crashed and burned out of playoffs. Um, so it's all about being at your best at the right time. And the fact that it's close, yeah, while wow, Jeremy did this, that is insane. No, 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 ridiculous. Uh, and really. thinking about how, how... What we're going to be able to take from this match and learn from is, is massive. Um, we're still a very new team, still very young. Um, and so every loss, every big match that we play, there's a thousand things to learn from it. And it feels like these players are really eager and um, willing to, to do anything and everything needed to, to improve from this loss. We're right, we're right there. We're right there. Like, I'm not happy qualifying. They're not happy qualifying. We want to go to Masters. We, we want to be considered the best team in the world, and I don't think we're happy just qualifying or being one of the good teams in North America. Um, this roster is um, new, fresh, and everybody has the same goal in mind, which is to be the best team in North America. So TSM was definitely going to bring it. With only a handful of weeks left in the main event, the team must quickly become better, faster, if they want a chance to make playoffs. And more importantly, Masters. What will it take to get there? Tune into the VCT main event to find out. I'm gonna have thicker glasses, the gray hair is coming in, and my face is gonna sag in a couple of years in the esports industry, so. How old are you again? <laughs> I'm 23. <laughs> How old are you today? 23. How old were you yesterday? 22. Ooh. <laughs> Thank Happy you. Happy birthday. <laughs>